Hey everybody, it's Zyle here. Welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included on our um, freezing disaster of a base. Uh, this is the second episode, and we uh, had a fairly good start, if you would call it that, at least for a uh, max difficulty Oxygen Not Included um, run. Um, get some of the basics started, starting to consider that uh, things make it a little dire. Um, Kind of trying to work the uh, oxyfern uh, system here. I don't know if we have any more seeds. I don't believe we do. Going to start trying to dig out some more of the land to look for. It certainly is cold enough in here, uh, but it's reasonable. Trying to generate some heat. See, we're going for this bit of food. Food is going to be an issue. Still not sure what I want to do with that. We're using up all the hexalent. Um, got a little bit more uh, available. And then we have a uh, a lot of pips that we, uh, well, they don't provide that much meat, but they might get us through a, a cycle or two if we slaughter them. But I do need a food solution overall. I um, was considering pip branching. It's pretty slow to get online. <laughs> Another option would be to get the mealwood going. I can always revert to, uh, if we look here, we can see... We have a um, a great deal of dirt, so um, and there's still quite a bit on the map. I'm pretty sure I can go with the mush bars um, as a solution. Um, I do have a um, you know a bit of water. We're gonna have a bit more water pretty soon. So today, what should we do? Um, I don't think I have any bristle blossom seeds. You know, I don't. The other thing, too, is we could go check out this side just to see resource-wise what we might get available because one of the issues I'm going to have is Drekos. There is uh, definitely no... Uh, not that I can see anywhere. Uh, there's no Drekos on the map. So I might go have a look on the other side to see if they're available over there because that's something I would need to get going at some point. As well as, um, we do have some coal, uh, but it's very limited. It's not, not going to be a good power solution long term. So, power wise, that's another problem I have. I guess it's one of my more immediate problems. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure what I would be doing for power. And there's no geysers that are going to produce power. I do have a lava, a minor lava one, but that's not going to produce sufficient power, in my opinion. Um, I could go with the um, uh, electrolyzers, uh, using electrolyzers to turn water into power, but it's highly inefficient. And um, I don't necessarily think that that's a good idea. It is, it is something, but it doesn't necessarily produce a great deal of power. Um, it is possibility, though. I think the best thing to do is to go look at the other planet just to see if there's any options there um, for, for a, a reasonable power solution. So maybe we'll send someone quickly over there, have a quick look, and then we can come back and, uh, and decide uh, what's going on. So let's send... Um, let's, well, you know what? Because we just clicked on that, we can have an overview. So over here, we've got oil reservoirs, oil fissures. Hmm, what's the difference between these two? I mean, there must be a difference. Well, I know this one is the normal one, I think. There's a volcano, there's carbon dioxide vent. There's a cool steam vent and chlorine gas. Not very good. Not very good. There is jungle biomes, so I can get my Draco eggs from there. Uh, and there's oil. Uh, oil is pretty complex to get set up. At least there is a uh, jungle. Yeah. So that's not... I mean, you can get Dracos from there, but that's not really the greatest solution. Um, especially short term for power. So, hmm. 
There is a fair deal of cold, but it's a, it's a, this, these areas are so cold. So, I mean, I could keep digging down, and it's the cold that's the uh, huge issue. Um, there isn't, maybe there is a fair bit of coal, but I don't like the idea of getting hypothermia constantly. You know, I mean, it's not that bad, it just slows them down. Um, so it's possibly a solution. I'm trying to think, what else can I do for power that's unique? Not a lot without getting a lot of things online. Yeah, I guess I, in one of my runs when I had the uh, hydrogen generators, zone at the bottom of the map, it was it made power so simple. I miss those days. So power, it's, you know, you, you do need it. I guess I can try working along uh, in a system that's power limited, but even that, like once I got to start generating steel and stuff, hmm. Converting water into, I really don't have that much water though, as well. I mean, this is nice to have this. And we do have another one over here. We have a, um, where did it go? Um, I remember seeing it. I think it's here. Yeah, we have a saltwater geyser as well. <clears throat> so, I mean, it could, it could generate... I could get a system up where I'm like, I do need to make oxygen. This is fine for a little bit, but I am going to have to make uh, some kind of efficient oxygen system, but uh, would need some steel and things like that before I would be able to do that. And I'm just not going to have the power to, to, to get that going easily. Well, I guess I wouldn't cause I could build the system in the cold and for a while it would just be warming up the base warm up the zone um so it would certainly stay cool enough if i wired in one of those more advanced systems but i don't think they're that power positive um trying to remember when i had one of those going how much power additional power i was making and I, yeah i don't i don't i don't believe they were that power positive um, I don't know if that's trying to convert water into power via oxygen is the uh, route to go either. And I'm not in a position to run over to the other side and get oil going. At least I don't think I am. That would be very complex. I'd have to be pumping, get all sorts of stuff set up where I could move water into the one side. Like, I'd have to take, um, this water's going to be hot, too. I'm going to have to literally be taking cold water to pump into the wells. That's not good. There's a vent on the other side, but again. I mean, if I were to, you know, and I'd have to have dupes over there, though, to pump the oil. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to make a base over there. So... Interesting. I wonder if I have to start considering going for the coal in order to get um, get power. Have have power to do stuff um, before I get uh, rocking and rolling. Oh yeah, there's a frozen core, so that's great. Oh my god. Well, we have all the cooling we'll ever need. So I'm not worried about heat at all. More worried about how cold it is. I guess we could go for the coal in order to just have more power because I have nothing. I have literally, there is nothing I can use for power other than coal. And we're going to have to go for it and they're going to have to suffer. I'm going to, I guess, my diggers and stuff, they're going to have to suffer with hypothermia. I don't, I don't really feel there's many other options. So where's one of the big, this is a big coal cavity that I can go for. Um, 
think there was a few others. Yeah, there's another zone down here. It's a fairly cold yet chunkable area. I don't think they'll take damage from cold the way they do from heat. There's definitely more down here as well. Um, I think this is the first one I'd strike at. I think we'll have to do that. We'll go from this angle here into it. Or should I just do a straight run? Don't like the cold just coming bursting into their rooms. Um, I could also make a heat seal. But the problem is I don't have the liquids to do it where the water won't freeze. Hmm. It's already like... As soon as I crack into here, this is going to be freezing cold, so that is not a good idea. Here it's already starting to be cold. We're going to have to go this way, I think. And then try and... Uh, we go... If I put coal generators here and I go this way, make this my route to it, and I'm going to put the generators here, which will generate heat to offset it, maybe that's the move. So let's uh, let's do that. Let's let's just start getting going here. Okay, so we're literally going to extend this like this. And then we're going to dig a, a, a two-channel chamber through it, trying to disturb as little as possible. Um, this has to go. This has to go. And then... We're going to ladder up here. Like around here. Yeah, maybe here. Then we're going to dig in to this. Start like something like that. And obviously, we need this skill to be able to do that. Um, let's see if they've, are even getting there yet. Who's my digger? Bubbles. Oh, Bubbles. Poor Bubbles. Bubbles doesn't even, he just needs a skill point. Um, we're getting there. So that'll come eventually. This can be, start to be hollowed out. You gotta crack through that side. Um, the other huge one was over this way. We can do a similar type of thing where we're gonna go into it. We'll pick a lower access point into it. I think we'll try from here. And we'll see this all just sort of become a mess. We'll close that for now, even though we're going to have to uh, get at all this. They're not going to be happy about doing this, though. But you know what? We don't have many choices, so let's begin like that. Hmm. <laughs> The oxygen is uh, definitely limited. Did I get these things unlocked yet? No, I didn't. We're researching that right now. And we need to get proper bathrooms up and running. I might even put those up here to tell you the truth. Build it out here. Start to think about that as well. Yeah. Did I unlock them yet? Yes, I did. So. I want to make a closed loop system. So let's see. I'm going to just have it all together, honestly. Um. So we, will, we would need a refiner. Let's see if this fits. We need uh, two bathrooms. We need two sinks. Okay, that does fit. This. Right, and then we're going to need some plumbing hooked up for it all. Basically, it's going to be like this into here, and then this into here. And then the only thing is, is we want to, um, we do want to move this slightly. 
because we'll want a buffer. So we'll want one of these here. So the refinement thing will go here. It'll be like that. So we'll have the output goes into here. And um, this out goes into here. And then this comes into here. Um, yeah, like that. It will need some power. And we'll do it like that, and then we'll frame it all out. Um, bathroom. Does it say no washroom? No industrial machinery. Is this industrial machinery? It is. All right, so we almost did this right. Let's uh, cancel that much of it. Put in a door system. This back in. This in. Just we'll just uh, this will all release, but that's fine. Is what it is. Uh, we just go for now with this. Actually, you know what? We won't crack this. There's no reason to. Um, we'll just do it like that. But you know what? We won't even crack any of this. We won't crack what we don't have to on this part. That go like that. Okay, and let's redo the plumbing. So this goes to here. This goes to here. And this we won't drop it like that. And the wiring we'll put like that. Let's give them some urgency to this. I think that'll be smart to get bathrooms done. And we better make sure that we've how's our research going um so i gotta research coal engines i think we're working on the scrubbers yeah so we're waiting on this not sure did i move this around now it has no priority no it has priority uh, the guy who works it must be sleeping. Yeah. Okay, the research is going. Hope we don't have starvation. We don't need to do this either, do we? But then this is going to be a problem, so... Oh, we don't even need that. Let's just do that. Let's simplify things. We will need to get some water over to this thing to prime it. Um, we actually could use this bad water to prime it. I'm pretty sure we can just go like this. We'll see if that'll bypass and work. And then I will uh, create another little tricky thing here just for temporary use like this, like this. Dig this out.
think this will work. We'll see. So, the other thing is, well, I think we'll go on a pip slaughtering mission soon for food if we have to. Because that water is starting to become... Oh, they can't get at this. Um, that going, that allow them to get at that piece of fruit. Provide me another cycle. I think that's it, though. I don't see any more. Yep, then I will have to start eliminating pips. Not too happy about them doing this. However, they should be uh, done with this in a minute. I could clean it up. Maybe I'll just emergency mop it just to get it in bottles they stopped getting their feet wet Is this working? Yeah. Okay, so we can disconnect that now. This is more than primed. These bathrooms are online now. Right? Yeah. So they can uh, deconstruct these. Uh oh. So. Now we've got the situation where we have um, food issues. We better get the uh we better get the mushers going. I think we'll just place it now in here, over here. Why won't this go? The plant there. Alright, let's do this.
I'm actually gonna hook up a second one of these as well. We may need start need to get some additional help on the power wheel. Okay. Let's see. So, don't want to stop the research. You set for doing it. Everyone else set to no. That's the problem. Um, I think we're going to have to apply our constructor to doing that. Well, she'll have to do it if she doesn't have anything to build. And I think our digger will also, if he doesn't have anything to do, it's going to do that, and our researcher, same thing. Um, we really need to get the power to start kicking more frequent. I may have to take another operator dupe, because it may be human power is what we're going to be uh, functioning on for a while. Okay, so this is going to be uh, polluted water. How are we doing here? Are we getting borderline? We are. Our cook is set to maximum, right? We better tell our researcher to start cooking. Um, here's the problem. Better not let them be eating it like that. That's fine. None of these do I like. Yes, the other thing too is do we... And I got so much dirt and water. I think that that's going to be... We're going to do mush bars. No matter how much can the cook make in a day, can he make enough? Yeah, and the other reason I want to take another dupe right now is oxygen, limited oxygen. So I guess the priority now is sorting out food. This will help a little, help us get ahead of it. Okay, so. So I might have to let him eat meat. Okay, he's okay for now. Are my researcher and cook on the same schedule? 
they are. Now this is going to have to change. Turner here. Gene here. Learn the skill point. Not my digger. Want to take advanced grilling? Yeah. Have yourself a nice hat. You can go ahead and take grilling as well. What? Yeah, that's fine. What is this missing? Water. Why would it be missing water? Why is this not working? Why is this not going through here? I think we need to do this differently. This should bypass. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe I'm wrong. See if it's something like this, though. It's actually got too cold over here. That's not good. Um, <clears throat> what can I do about that? Need to get something hot down here. I don't think we have any. We have a little bit of coal. I have an idea. Temporary. Oh, we have to do the research for it. Damn it. Okay, um, get that going. Oh, you know what? I wonder if I could be setting up arbor farms into burning uh wood doing something with the wood because arbor farms want polluted water and we have a uh an awful lot of it it's very cold but here we have quite a bit um something to consider for sure I want to make sure that we've solved our food issues. If this is going to be cranking enough or not. Not sure. I 
This is getting damaged from the cold? Yeah. It's gonna be an issue. This does generate some heat, so hopefully it'll warm up slowly. Okay, so we do have the coal generator online. I think we will, uh, we're gonna just stick one right here. And... I don't have smart batteries yet, so I'm literally just gonna go and bang it straight in. Packing things together. One thing that will generate a lot of heat that'll be real nice is to get the uh, metal refinery online. And even that water that comes out will be warmed up. I mean, that might be a, a solution. We're gonna run this water, this cold water into a refinery and it'll heat the water up. Perhaps then make it more usable. But at least we're going to be able to refine, no problem. This is ridiculous. Come on, get this thing going, guys. I know you're cool. Yeah, we've been tapping into it over here. I think we're going to need to kind of dig some stuff out. how that works. Hopefully nobody gets trapped. This. And we'll go with this ladder. It'll go up. No one's starving, but we have no calories left. Oh, this will be dicey now. Can these cooks keep up? Will I need to have two of these going? Nobody is on the supply train. Yeah, wrong guy. We're supplying. Um, I think our digger will have to start prioritizing supplying. Well, there.
Yeah, this is just going to be a mess. There's not much I can do about it. Clean it up like this. If we take a... Uh, I'm not sure if this will work, but... We put a bottle opener here. See what we get here. Uh, take the hatchling for the food. This guy's not bad. I just can't take another dupe right now. Unfortunately. I just can't. And trap that shine bug in here. Oh my god, there's a plant around here. Try and capture it in there. It's convenient. I remember a long time ago I was going to automate this. I probably should take advantage of it and do it. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Oops. Quick change over should be fine. But it'll, it'll help free them up. They have to run the water. That line, this line is done. Get this out of here.
plumbing wise we'll just be coming off of this we'll do it like this with just one of them going man it's always the hardest part of this uh max difficulty is food i don't really want to do mealwood right now maybe i'm gonna have to add some mealwood just to uh augment um Is there any difference between these? I think so. We'll just get that much added. No. Gonna have to.
keep getting uh, very bad. Do I have any kind of immediate food source? So one hatch we can kill. Better get another one of these going and get some emergency food prep happening. Okay, so priorities in cooking. Hanging on by a thread here. Okay. I think we can... These things got made out of cold dirt or something. Must be. Give me food. Nope. Well, we are... Keep that around. We are managing to... Uh, keep ourselves alive. That's good. Barely.
Okay, also we gotta get this done. That's gonna be like that. Um, this we're gonna take out. I swear I told to build a new style. Oh well. I got another one. Well, they're pushing ahead on it. See if we can jump this. Um, I'm gonna try and do the switch here. Uh, I'm gonna turn this off for now. I'm gonna turn this off for now. Try and make the switch. Great. That's right, gotta get this done. Um,
Wait, better turn this back on. for this. Redo this. This is creating a problem. Um, yeah. We're going to do this like this. I'm going to take this out.
No, well, we're hanging on by a thread, but it's going good. Um, it's still stressful, but um, we'll see. This is all starting to get too cold. Yeah, we definitely have. Uh, we're going to need to generate heat as much as possible. Probably research insulated tiles soon so I can start to try and lock off the base by insulating things and keeping the heat that we're generating more contained. Right now it's just bleeding through everywhere. And stress is burning the build. We'll have to uh, start to maybe get a massage clinic set up to deal with that. But we're 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 hanging on. We're we're uh, we're we're doing okay. Anyhow, can end the video here. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, give me some uh, feedback, uh, suggestions, and things like that. Always happy to hear it. And with that being said, we will see you in the next one.